Now, for the real treat of this CD, where we actually notched up a gear or two, we wondered what it'd be like if Tiny Tim, the world's most famous littlest star, spoke to the world's biggest star. We wondered what it'd be like if Tiny Tim spoke to David Beckham. Hello? Hi, hi. My name's Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, hi. How are you doing, Tiny Tim? Are you David Beckham? Yeah, my name's David, yeah. Hiya, mate. You all right? Yeah, I'm really good. How are you? I'm all right. I'm a bit warm, though. You're a bit warm? Why are you warm? Oh, it's very hot outside. It's cold weather. Oh, right. So, right I'm with you, yeah. It's boiling outside. It's boiling? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been very hot where I am as well. Where were you? I'm uh, I'm in the Mediterranean at the moment, just near Marbella. I've not got a clue where that is. Anyway, I've got five questions that I need to ask you. Is that all right, mate? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Brilliant. Right, first one is fame. Fame? Yeah, fame. I'm getting pretty famous now, right? Right. How do you cope? Uh, what, with fame? Yeah. Yeah, well, um, I mean, really, it's uh, you take every day as it comes, you know. I mean, obviously, I'm like, quite famous now, and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, there are lots of people out there that will wish you well, but, yeah. but at the same time, there are, there are people that don't wish you that well, as you know. And sure. uh, it's, it, you've got to be really careful. I mean, uh, how famous are you? Do, do people know who you are? Well, I've got loads of pepperoni taking pictures of me all the time and everything. Pepperoni? Pe- oh, yeah, yeah, you mean paparazzi, yeah. Whatever. Uh, well, they're taking pictures of me all the time and push me head in. Cause, well, I mean, I've never heard of you. Never heard of me? Are you big where you come from? I'm Mavis. <laughs> right, part two is endorsements. Endorsements, yeah. You're the face of Gillette, Adidas That's right. and Take a Break magazine. Right, yeah. What endorsements is a rising star, young star like me, should I go for? Um, well, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, with me, it's, it's, you've got to like sign up to a product that you, you know, you can identify with, and uh, and I've got an interest in all those things like Gillette, Adidas, uh, Pepsi, Vodafone. So, I mean, what you know, what are your your favourite kind of things? What what do you like? Milky buttons. Milky buttons, yeah. right? They're the bestest. Milky the the Milky Bar buttons, yeah. Yeah, they're the yeah. ones. Them, do you like Bro- them? I don't mind them. I know Brooklyn likes them a lot. Um, well, why don't you uh, why don't you do an advert? Can you do an advert for one? Do you think you could do an advert for Milky Bar Buttons? I could do one now. I'll go, mmm, Milky Bar Buttons, just for me. That's there you go. Good, you see, it? that'd sell. That'd sell for me, that. <laughs> Brilliant. That's yeah. great. Wait, next one is women. Women? Yeah. Right. Wait, Victoria is very disabled lady. I'm right. so jealous of Brooklyn Rummel and Tom Cruise. I wish she was my mum. Is she really nice in real real life? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, Victoria's my soul, mate. Um, I remember the first time we met, I just knew she was going to be the one, you know. And uh, I, I saw her after a Man United game when I was playing there. And, uh, right. you know, it's been a fairy tale romance for us, really. And, uh, you know, we're very, very happy right now. Right. I mean, uh, I wish I, I was single flight, you was. Yeah, who's your favourite woman? Um. Dory, out of, out of finding Nemo. <laughs> oh, she goes, uh, hello, speaks well. You, she, what, do you mean, what did you mean by, by Victoria being desirable anyway? She's nice. She's nice, yeah. yeah. Someone yeah, well, told me once that she was desirable. Anyway, right. anyway. No, number three, question number three. We've done three, haven't we? No, that was two. Oh, right, okay. Number three is money. I you... Are you proper loaded? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, well, I wouldn't say, well, yeah, I probably am, actually. Um, we do all right for money, yeah. Yeah, you know it. I'm not. I'm, You're I'm, not? I'm proper skin. Oh, dear. How much you give your children? A million? Because <laughs> I get, like, a five a week spends. That you get a five a week? Yeah. And that, that's like loads, because he gets me some stickers and yeah. some sweets. I have a chomper and the milky buttons. <laughs> and right. what, what could your kids get with their spends? Well, I mean, uh, you know, you know uh, I don't really do the pocket money. Victoria, she looks after all, all that sort of thing. And uh, But, you know, our, our kids never really want for anything. If, if they want something, they'll, they'll get it. But, you know, sure. we've got to be careful, because... 
you've got to, you know, teach the kids the value of money. And you, when they get their own, they, you know, you don't want them blowing it, do you? So you've got to be careful with your money. See, I just blow mine. You blow it on sweeties, do you? <laughs> yeah, all the that. time. Do you like sweets? I do like sweets, yeah. Yeah, wine gums are my favourite. White wine gums? Yeah. White. White number four is being sick. Being sick? Yeah, bleh. Like that. When, why did you throw up on the pitch at the World Cup? <laughs> had you well, had three apple pies? Three apple pies? Yeah. Um, no, I mean, uh, that was uh, you know, a really strange day. I mean, th it was a really big game and uh, I'd been ill leading up to the game and, uh, you know, it was really hot on the pitch. Like you said, it was hot today. Yeah. It was like 35 degrees on the pitch and uh, Is that what hot? with that and uh, like the nerves and how important the game was, uh, it just sort of overcame me and I was sick. <laughs> so it was nothing to do with apple pies? No, no. Because I had three once in five minutes I was sick on my mum's knee. Oh dear. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, um, nice. what did your mum do when you were sick? She didn't give me my fiver. <laughs> she said, no way. Right, oh dear, that, that's what, unlucky. Question number five. Yeah. Music. Music. What type of music do you like? Um, I'm really into most things, but my favourite kind is like hip-hop and, you know, gangster rap. You know, oh like... yeah, I love gangster rap. Do I, you? I can speak gangster rap. Can you? Go on then. I, I'm, not, I'm not very good at uh, speaking uh, gangster rap, no. Have no. a go. Oh, I, I can't. You, you give me one of yours. You, you do it first, and then oh, let's see what you've got. This is me being a gangster. Safe boy, easy G unit. Big up yourself. <laughs> that's I like that. A that's proper good, gangster, mate. that isn't it? Yeah, you, you sound like well sorted there, mate. That's Don't quality. From the ghetto, that one. From the ghetto. <laughs> Wait, David. Yeah. Thank you for your time. That's all right, Tim. It's been a pleasure talking to you, mate. Will you come back to Manchester soon and come and see me and Kieran? He's my bestest mate. He's oh, older. I'd love to. He's older than me, but I'm bigger off him. Oh, you're bigger than him, are you? Yeah. All oh, right. And, and my mum says she's got something of yours. Do you know what it is? Something of mine? Yeah. What's that? I don't know, but she said if you were here, you'd get it right now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I don't, I don't think I know you, Mum. <laughs> she thinks she knows you. Does she? Right. She said you'd get it. I'd get what? I don't know. That's what you need to find out. Oh, right. Right, OK. Must be a, a big boy thing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, it might be. It might be. Thank you very much anyway, David. That's all right. You take care, mate. And you. OK. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.